This is our presentation on gender inequality. Gender inequality and stereotyping is a widely known topic throughout the United States. It still exists today in many ways. It can be destructive in the lives of both men and women of all ages. Women's Rights Movement In 1923, the National Women's Party proposed an amendment to the Constitution that prohibited all discrimination on the basis of sex. This Equal Rights Amendment was never, has never been ratified. In 1995, at the UN Fourth World Conference on Women in Beijing, leaders from governments and civil society around the world came together and committed to ensuring that women and girls have the opportunity to participate fully in all aspects of life. In 1848, a group of abolitionist activists came together in Seneca Falls to discuss the problem of women's rights. They came to the conclusion that women should have the right to vote. These are just a few of the examples of, for the, of the fight that has been waging in the past to reach gender equality for all. The He for She campaign is one that aims at eliminating gender inequality and stereotyping to allow both male and female from all over the world to be treated equal. Emma Watson, the UN Goodwill Ambassador and an avid feminist, is a well-known supporter for, her, for He for She. On September 20, 2014, she spoke at a UN conference about gender inequality and how we can fight it today. She said, This is the first campaign of its kind at the UN. We want to try and galvanize as many women and boys as as many men and boys as possible to be advocates for gender equality. And we don't just want to talk about it, but make sure it is tangible. Between the years 1848 and 1920, the women of America fought for the right to vote and won that right in 1920 with the 19th Amendment. The No Ceilings program was created in 1995 to collect data on the progress of gender equality worldwide and make it available to everyone. So far, so much participation and accomplishments have been achieved because of the past efforts of others throughout time. There have been almost 230,000 men and boys that have joined the He for She campaign. Women have gained the right to vote. Since 1995, the status of women and girls in general have improved throughout the world and so much more. Two of the most persuasive causes, two of the most pervasive causes of gender equality are gender stereotyping and occupational stereotyping. Gender stereotyping is when certain traits, physical, mental, and emotional, are labeled as being strictly to men or to women. Occupational stereotyping is when an occupation is considered to be a man's work or a woman's work. Who does the problem affect? Women, men, girls, and boys. Ways gender inequality affects women. Number one, employment opportunities. Most male bosses are shown favoritism towards men because of their similarities and capabilities. They view women as stay-at-home care caretakers and shouldn't be concerned with men's work. Number two, average salary compared to men. A higher percentage is given to men over women due to the circumstances of nurturing and looking after their children, which may be a reason to keep them from working more hours. Number three, social status. Women are looked at as inferior to men's strengths given incentive of teasing and discrimination. Number four, ranks of advancement. Many high positions of power are viewed by men to be handled by men who are emotionally and physically stable. Ways gender inequality affects men. Number one, media empowers and belittles men and treats, treats them as inferior to women. Number two, responsibilities between a man and a woman in the home. Men shouldn't be doing menial chores around the home and concerns, concern themselves with work outside. Number three, Society's traditions keep men from being a certain way that may be who they are or they want to be. Men are obligated to act manly and be what men ought to behave. This pressure is usually from their male friends and colleagues rather than women. Ways gender inequality affects girls. Number one, 
Girls are teased at school about their physical or emotional inabilities compared to boys' strengths. Number two, dolls or other toys are meant for girls. Ways gender inequality affects boys. Number one, some boys are some boys share some similarities to girls' likes and dislikes and are teased for it. Number two, toys meant for boys such as sports balls, action figures, and or machines. What happens if we don't do anything about the problem? Possible outcomes could be that there will be unfair, unfairness which will continue between the two genders, discrimination and unequal pay during the employment. Women won't have to say, won't have a say or an opportunity to rise to a position of power. No progress in history will continue to repeat itself. What can we do about gender inequality? Parents are the key. They can make a difference by building gender neutral toys, providing media that reflects positive gender roles, attending gender equality workshop, workshops, and acting as role models for their children. When parents buy gender neutral toys, toys, they encourage their children to expand their horizons, enable their creativity, and help them develop a broad range of interests. Media choices matter. Males outnumber females three to one in family films, even though females comprise 50% of the population in the US. When women are shown on screen, they generally fill narrow roles and, press, and dress immodestly. This needs to change. Girls and boys need to see that girls' stories are equally as valuable and interesting as boys' stories. Gender equality workshops should become more widely available to parents and children. They should be offered in the schools and other community centers. Workshops can help parents and children understand how gender inequality causes people to be artificially limited by their gender. They can also teach people the tools they need to overcome gender inequality. Children follow their parents' examples. Research suggests that parents are models for gender, gender stereotypes through their own behavior, occupation, and interests. They also reinforce gender stereotypical behaviors in their children. Parents need to be careful to demonstrate positive gender roles for their children to follow.